Thanks for tuning in. This is Optiponymous coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Hot Toys 1 6 scale Marty McFly from Back to the Future. Now, every now and then, Hot Toys gives us something different other than Iron Man or another Marvel character. And this is one that me and a lot of other people have been waiting for for a long time. Now, for the packaging, as you can see, this is the Sideshow exclusive version, but I'll touch on that when we bring the figure out. But the rest of the package really does look cool. You got the very nice, iconic Back to the Future text right there with the DeLorean kind of blazing off and a bit of a uh, time distortion going on there, sending uh, Marty and Doc probably off into some crazy adventure. You also do have the out of time California license plate, which I absolutely love right there. Now I come around here to the side. You just got Marty McFly. The top shows back to the future. The back here has a real nice kind of image of the clock tower there in the background. And then you've got the various warnings. Uh, you can see that it is a bit of a slip cover. I, I still don't know why we call these shoe box cases. Cause honestly shoe boxes for me, they, they open like this. So I, I don't know why we, call that a shoe box, but whatever. But when you get it open, you got more of an inside look of what it looks like from the point of view of being in the actual uh, DeLorean. And then again, you got the distortion of them entering the uh, time warp, I guess. You got the set to 88. You kind of got the little 88 kind of look going on there, but it looks like it's a little bit faded. And then down here, you have the cast and crew responsible for making the figure, in including the uh, production controller named Monster Jr. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, and then you slide this out, and then much like all the other Hot Toy figures, you've got the clamshell that protects the figure within, and it's sliding out for some reason. But as I said, this is a figure that a lot of people, including myself, have really been looking forward to i am a massive back to the future fan and this is a figure that i've wanted in my collection for a long time but for the packaging that's about it so without further ado let's get him open and see how cool he actually is all right guys so here we have marty mcfly opened up and out of its packaging and as always taking a look at his accessories first and honestly he comes with a fairly good amount now in addition to the more relaxed hand that's currently on him as well as uh, kind of the fist he comes with a few other hands he's got a left hand that's designed here uh, kind of in an open palm probably more to maybe replicate how he would have his hands position if he's riding a skateboard uh, he comes with a right relaxed hand he comes with uh, two different hands here that are basically in the same configuration uh, what they're used for it, it's kind of strange I mean you could probably have them holding many different of his accessories but uh, I think it's more designed to actually hold a skateboard so you do have a right and left hand that's for that and then you do have a right and left hand that are kind of in a fist this one is a little bit more the design to probably hold the guitar whereas this is more uh, similar to the hand that's already on there that's just in this grip kind of pose so you do have several hands there now you also do get the, the wrist pegs uh, he's a little bit smaller of a figure so the wrist pegs are actually a little bit smaller and yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're more fragile or anything but uh, compared to uh, some other figures that we got uh, these are a little bit more on the small side now one thing that he, he does come with with I, I wish he didn't but I'm glad that they actually included it is uh, as you can see well we'll take a look at it here in a little bit but he's got a lot of buttons on his jacket uh, he does come with a whole bunch of extra replacement buttons it's kind of unfortunate that it needs those because they do pop up very easily but i am happy that they uh, do include some replacements for it it's just one of those things that i wish they didn't have to do and then coming to the other accessories he does come with a lot he comes with a walkman which looks really very good i would caution uh, kind of handling this too much mine actually came detached from the uh, the wire i mean it came detached from the actual the player itself i was able to glue it back in there but it's very fragile so be careful but i do like how the rest of the wire is actually flexible and you can kind of pose that and then you do get some really nice uh, headphones very 80s looking very cool uh, it kind of does remind me of how uh, star lords looked but i think that these look a little bit better and have obviously a more uh, back to the future look one thing that's really cool i, I don't know if that's actually going to show off very well but you can kind of make out that on the inside there, there's a tape. It's not removable or anything like that, but I love the fact that they actually were able to uh, sculpt that detail in there. I think that's terrific. Now, he also does come with a pair of sunglasses. It's 
specifically says in the instructions that these are not meant for wearing in terms of like covering his eyes. These are just meant to replicate a specific look for him. So I'm glad that they included them. They are very simple. They're not overly spectacular or anything. Uh, and you, you really can't even see through the, the actual lenses. I mean, you kind of can, but like I said, they are not meant to be worn or anything. It's just to enhance one of his poses. So you do get those. Uh, he also does come with his camcorder, which we saw him recording the first time uh, experiment with the DeLorean. Yeah, really very nice on there. Great detail. It obviously does not have the JVC branding on there, but everything else looks really, really sharp on it. You got some really nice buttons on there if my camera would focus on it. There we go. That's a little bit better, but you got some nice buttons on there. You can see the, the VHS tape in there. You got the nice handle right there. You got a strap right there that he can hold with his hand. Really very nice. I love the way that the actual lens looks on there. It has a very a reflective look to it. Great amount of detail on here. Obviously, like I said, does not have the JVC branding, but all in all, still a great representation of how the camcorder looked. And obviously, if you're going to display them like that, some kids Kids nowadays might look at this and think that's kind of strange because of how big it is but that's how they were uh, now he does come with a skateboard which does have a really great amount of detail on here you can see that there's some great texturing actually on here the amount of detail is really quite impressive on it you come around here to the bottom same great amount of detail and then I love how the actual tires uh, have this wear on there I mean that's really quite wonderful the paint on there is really well done it gives you a very used look and feel so I absolutely dig that. Now, does it actually, um, well, no, it doesn't actually pivot. Uh, skateboards usually have a pivot on the on the side here to kind of help you uh, tilt and turn and things like that. No, that doesn't. That would have been a little bit cool, but eh, it doesn't. Uh, he also does come with his backpack. Uh, you can see that it is just this uh, strap where it's kind of put together like so, but uh, it does nicely uh, capture the way that his backpack looks. You got some stuffing in there just to kind of keep it puffed out. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple, but again, very accurate. I like the uh, the fake leather material down here. Really, really a nice piece. Uh, he does come with his, now this is the exclusive version. This uh, is what you get from uh, Sideshow Collectibles if you get it directly through them. Uh, he does come with his guitar that he used uh, during his initial audition. Some people have complained because it's not the guitar that he used uh, in the opening sequence of the movie or even when he played Johnny B. Good. But this is the one uh, that he did use where uh, Huey Lewis very famously said that he's just too gosh darn loud. But um, really nice amount of detail on here as well. You can see that this actually does uh, swivel the little whammy bar. I think that's what it's called. You've got some nice strings on there, but real good detail on there. I like that they actually included the strings on there. It just gives a overall real feel to it. And then you got the, the strap just by itself. Again, nice, accurate representation. Now, coming back here, this just really is a great piece. Now, again, that is uh, what you get if you get it exclusively through Sideshow. Uh, now, he does come with his display stand. You can see Back to the Future, Marty McFly. But it doesn't give you the uh, adjustable cradle uh, crotch grabber. This is actually kind of a waist nut grabber. Uh, th honestly, this is this, this might be the first one that I've gotten that has that. It still has the same, you know, sliding thing, but it, it wraps around the actual waist, which is a little bit better, uh, I, I think, in some aspects because it kind of hides that unfortunate-looking uh, crotch grabber. But, I mean, you do have to make sure that you get this up and get it kind of hidden behind his clothes. But, generally speaking, I think this is nice. Now, this is the, the biggest accessory that, I honestly, I don't like. I think it's cool that they included this, but it's this whole save-the-clock tower piece of paper a uh, great amount of detail on there you got the hill the valley telegraph on there save the clock tower clock tower strikes by lightning blah 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 blah. you can read all about it and then you come around here to the back and you got the note that jennifer wrote on there it says i love you five 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 four eight two three i mean I, I think that's great that they included the detail this is just way too big though um when, when you take a look at the actual movie the movie, it really is just like maybe a quarter of these. So if you fold this in half, that's about the right size that it should be. This is way too big, and I don't I honestly like it all that much. I mean, it was just a standard piece of paper, like a, a 11 by 8 piece. But this is much larger, and when he's holding it, 
it, you can see just how ridiculously oversized it is. So uh, it's kind of unfortunate. They go to all this detail to, or, or this effort to recreate the detail in all these other pieces. There's something fun and cool like this, I really would have expected them to do the same thing with. But I mean, it, it's just a piece of paper. It's not going to make or break anything. It's just, that's one of my complaints, I suppose, with it. So uh, for his accessories, that's all you have. Now, coming to the figure himself, it wouldn't be Hot Toys if it didn't create a bit of a stir amongst collectors. The reason for that being that some collectors really don't necessarily see, or I guess like the portrait of Michael J. Fox here, while some actually do. Now, I will say that this particular portrait really does have a very Poe-specific look. Now, what I mean by that is while it's great that you get, the, you know, the skateboard and the guitar, the expression on his face really doesn't lend itself to posing with those accessories. Now, if you do take the, uh, the uh, sunglasses and if you take, you know, his uh, video recorder where you're going to have kind of a shocked look, this is definitely a good portrait for it. Uh, re regardless, though, I think that the actual sculpt is still really nicely done and i think that it does look like michael j fox like i said though it just really depends on the particular pose that you want to put him in uh, taking a look at the outfit itself really great amount of detail on here this is what i was talking about though these buttons do come off fairly easily you can see that on this side one popped off and then on this side one popped off. You do get two different colors. You can see that that's a bit of a gold button where these are actually black. Uh, so you do get extras. Uh, it is kind of unfortunate, but like I said, I am happy that they gave replacements. I just wish you, you didn't have to get it. Uh, you can remove this and you can have just this jacket underneath there. You can also see the, uh, the other layers of his outfit. You got his uh, suspenders right there, which are nice and stretchy. So you can have a cool look with that. Underneath that, he does have his uh, red t-shirt. So you can take this off. Off, you can get some more specific kind of looks for him. Uh, he does take off the uh, life preserver after a while. I really do like how you come down here. The cuffs are done up in this way that replicate the inside like they're kind of folded up just kind of uh, shorten the sleeves on them. You got some nice denim looks on there. Really overall very very nice. Uh, some people have complained about the pants. Um, I, I do think that they kind of ride up a little high on his shoes uh, kind of exposing his socks but I don't think it's really all that bad. You can kind of pull them down but it does look pretty good uh, he doesn't have nike shoes that's kind of unfortunate but the shoes themselves do have that same look you just don't actually have that Nike branding, which is to be expected. Uh, I love his watch. Uh, I didn't show this off in his accessories, but it is a little calculator watch. I don't know if that's going to focus on. Eh, maybe it will a little bit, but you can see that it's got the little uh, calculator aspect, which was all the rave back in the 80s, having uh, watches with calculators built into it. So, uh, I mean, and then you even do have the little pins that he wore on his jacket. So really great detail there as well. I mean, all in all, I think that they really captured a great likeness and uh, attention to detail on the rest of his actual outfit is as you would come to expect with him uh, now try to get him to stand here on my rounded surface it's just uh, like i said some people will complain about the portrait and it's understandable it's one of those things where a, a lot of these actual figures do suffer when you give them some actual emotion in their portrait. I mean, one case that I think of would be the Wolverine figures. A lot of those had very angry, teeth-bearing kind of looks that don't really look good if you just have them standing there. So that kind of carries on here with Marty as well. So uh, keep that in mind. I still think it's a great-looking figure, but due to the limitations of the actual portrait, it does kind of make some of those accessories a little, I guess, pointless to have. Now, as I said, he is a little bit shorter of a figure. Figure, but all the same articulation is there. You've got the ball joint here at the actual part of the neck. You also do have a neck joint right here, so you can get them looking way far down. The shoulders move up and down. They rotate forward and back. Uh, it is a little bit limited here with the actual uh, outfit, but again, if you rotate, then spin the clothes around, rotate some more, spin the clothes around, rotate around you can get a full pose such as that. So you can get all the poses in a lot of these. You, you just have to kind of wiggle some stuff around to get it. Uh, he does have an upper ab crunch, which is like right here. It's kind of mid ab area. And then below that, he does have a, a waist joint. His hips move forward and back. When you do move them forward, it does expose his uh, sock a whole lot more. So then you do have to kind of get the sock underneath one piece of advice that I would give you, maybe lift this all the way up, 
take this sock, extend this as far as you can, put a little bit of tape around that, and then wiggle that down. That'll kind of keep the sock in place because as it is, kind of makes everything bunch up. And um, I mean, that might be a cool look for you or that might annoy you. Uh, he does have two joints here at the knee and then uh, he also does rotate at the upper part of the thigh. I forgot to show that off. And then the actual ankles, move forward and back. They pivot side to side. So all the articulation that you could possibly want in the figure is there. Despite the little bit smaller size, they just basically gave him uh, shorter legs, it seems. But uh, it is accurate because Michael J. Fox is a pretty small dude. Now, Back to the Future has been one of my favorite favorite franchises of all time. I grew up loving this movie. So finally having a Hot Toys version of Marty McFly just really feels like it fits in my collection. I cannot wait for the a Back to the Future 1 version of the DeLorean to come out and hopefully I got my fingers crossed that we'll also get a Doc Brown. But I do understand some people's concerns about this figure. While I think everything on him in terms of the tailor and everything are outstanding looking, I do agree that the portrait is a little bit lacking. It doesn't have that same versatility that a lot of the Hot Toys portraits actually do have. As I talked about, this is a very kind of pose specific look. In a pose like this, that face really does lend itself very well. But in putting a portrait like this out there, it really does serve to kind of eliminate a lot of poses and, and eliminate the need for some of his accessories. So I can't see where people don't think that they're getting a full value for him. And from that angle, I do totally understand where this figure may be a bit of a letdown. Combine that with the fact that you know, this is probably a, a collectible that is only going to appeal to a certain group of collectors. I don't necessarily see this this one flying off shelves. But regardless, it's still a very good figure and a fantastic outing by Hot Toys. <laughs> and hey, it's something other than Iron Man. So without question, I highly recommend picking this guy up. So if you are interested in getting them, all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You go to Sideshow Collectibles where you can pick this guy up and add him to your collection. Now, one final thing that I'd like to bring up, and it's kind of on a personal note, but as I said, Back to the Future is a franchise that I've loved for a long time. And because of that, something also very exciting in my life is taking place. That being that I am actually an associate producer on a documentary for Back to the Future called Back in Time. In it, it gives you a definitive look on the cultural impact of Back to the Future by interviewing several key fans, I'm not included, but a lot of other really cool fans, as well as some very key components to actually making the film. Michael J. Fox is in there, Christopher Lloyd is in there, Robert Zemeckis, Bob Gale, all are interviewed in this wonderful piece. And I would really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. Now it's not releasing until October of 2015, but in the time being, you can go to the website backintimefilm.com, which if this is a documentary that you're interested in, you can also pre-order your own copy, be it a digital download, Blu-ray or DVD, as well as even picking up your own Back in Time t-shirt. But when it comes out, let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious to see what kind of impact Back to the Future actually had on you guys and how you feel on how the movie stands up today. But beyond that, that's about it, guys. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibonimus. Don't forget that you can keep in touch with me by liking my Facebook page at facebook.com slash teambonimus and by following me over on Twitter at twitter.com slash optibonimus. Also, I'd encourage you to check out my website at optibonimusreviews.com where you can see all my videos from the previous week, see what I have coming up for future release, and also get your very own Optibonimus t-shirt. And finally, I'd also really appreciate it, guys, that if you like this review, don't forget to please like and comment, and be sure to subscribe so that you never miss a future review. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.